Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, that's me. I'm here today to show you three features of Google Jamboard that are only available in Jamboard on the web at jamboard.google.com. Now remember, there is a mobile app for iPads and Chromebooks that's really nice and has some own, its own separate features, but these three features are exclusive to the web. You can't find them on the mobile app. And the third one might surprise you. Well, the first one is going to be right here in the toolbar, this shapes tool. Look at all these tools. There's eight of them. And probably the most useful for teachers is going to be this arrow because you can use that for relationships, graphic organizers, whatnot. And you can adjust your colors here. And let's say, we'll make it red. You can also make it transparent. There's a lot of cool things you can do with the shapes. Uh, but again, not available in the mobile app. So pretty neat. Second one is the straight up text box. So there are no, there is no text box feature in the mobile app. It's exclusive to the web. If I click here and then just add a text box, I can add text. And I have some formatting options here, including all the way from caption down to display. But remember, you can always resize as well. So here I'll just resize and shrink and enlarge. And additionally, you have your colors and you have your uh, alignment, uh, depending on how big the field is. So let's make that a little bit bigger. And now it's centered and now it's left. Uh, there, There is, no matter what, it's all this font. There's no uh, fonts right now, but that is the text box. The third one is a bit of a surprise. And that is custom backgrounds. So yes, you now have custom backgrounds in Jamboard, but it's only on the web. You see this button right here, the plus, where you can then insert any image as a background. Can't do that in the mobile app, only in the web app. And teachers have wanted that for a long time because they want something that won't ever move, that will just stay stuck in place. And so custom backgrounds are great for that. Typically, a landscape image at a 16, point, 16 by nine ratio is what you want when you use custom backgrounds in the web app. So that's three features of Jamboard on the web that are exclusive to Jamboard on the web. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.